today is the 27th day of the blessed month of Hathor. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility. While our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my fathers and brethren, Amen. The martyrdom of St. James the Persian on this day of the year 137 of the martyrs, 421 AD, St. James the Persian was martyred. He was born and raised in one of the Persian countries into a pious Christian, wealthy and illustrious family. He occupied different positions and ranks at the court of the Persian emperor for his courage and uprightness. He was promoted to the highest rank of the emperor's court. Because of what he received from the prestige before the emperor, he turned his heart away from his faith in the Lord Christ. When his mother, his wife, and his sister heard that he adopted the emperor's belief, they wrote to him, saying, Why have you forsaken the faith in the Lord Christ and worshipped the created objects, the fire and the sun? Know that if you persist in what you are doing, we will disown you, and you will be as a stranger to us. When he read their letter, the grace of God moved his heart thought about it, and finally he came to himself. He wept and said, If by doing that I have become a stranger to my own family and my people, how would the situation be with my Lord Jesus Christ? Consequently, he decided to declare his Christian faith. When the king learned of his declaring his Christian faith, he ordered him painfully beaten until he would denounce his belief. When the pain of the torment did not weaken him, the king ordered to cut off his fingers, his hands, his legs, and his arms. Each time they cut off a piece of his body, he praised the Lord and sang, saying, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, according to your great compassion. That's Psalm 50, verse 1. Eventually, nothing was left of him except his head, his breast, and his loins. When he knew that his time was near, he entreated the Lord to have mercy and compassion upon the world and the people therein. He apologized for not standing in the presence of the mighty Lord and said, I have neither legs to stand before thee, nor hands to lift up to thee. Behold, the parts of my body have been cast around me. O Lord, receive my soul straight away, after his prayer, he was comforted, and his soul rejoiced. One of the guards made haste and cut off his head before delivering his pure soul. He thus received the crown of martyrdom. Some of the believers came forward, took his body, shrouded it, and buried it in a special place. Many wonders and miracles were manifested from his body. When his mother, his sister, and his wife heard that he was martyred, they greatly rejoiced and came to where the body was and kissed it, weeping. They shrouded it in a splendid cloth and costly fragrant spices. A church and a monastery will build his name during the reign of the righteous emperors Arcadius and Honorius. When the king of Persia heard the news of the miracles and wonders that were manifested, from the body of St. James and of the other honored martyrs, he ordered all their bodies in all parts of his kingdom to be burned. Some of the believers came and took the body of St. James and brought it to Jerusalem and entrusted it to St. Peter a Rahawi, Bishop of Gaza. St. Peter, the bishop, because of persecution in turn, took the holy body to Egypt, where he stayed in a monastery inhabited by devoted monks. The body is still present in the land of Egypt. The blessing of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also the Church celebrates the commemoration of the consecration of the Church of the great martyr, St. Victor, son of Romanus or Ibn Romanus, in the city of Ancena. Martha, St. Victor's mother, prepared all what the building of this Church needed, she embarked on a ship from Antioch and sailed to Alexandria. Then she traveled to Ancena. Then she traveled to Ancena, where the abundant 
palace was, the place of her hero's son St. Victor imprisonment and torture. She kneeled down and prayed there. She hired the construction workers and the other trades as the carpenters and the iron workers to build the church. When the building of the church was completed, her martyred son St. Victor appeared to her in a shining vestment and thanked her for building a church after his name. Pope Alexander I, the 19th Patriarch of Alexandria, came along with the bishops to consecrate the church. Martha was praying with tears of joy in her eyes. Many miracles were manifested during and after the consecration. Martha bought lands as an endowment for the church of St. Victor to cover the needs of the church and its servants. Then she went back to Antioch, her homeland in peace. The blessing of the prayers of the great martyr St. Victor be with us all, and glory be to our God forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.